you for the last time. Oh, my goodness. It's 4 p.m. We are in the eye right now. It's so bright out. Our huge pine fell down. The trees are all falling down on our fence line. Not this morning. Welcome to a day before a hurricane. And guys, the last videos that you guys saw were us prepping and that the storm was coming. And at that time, it was only like a tropical storm. Wasn't even sure what was gonna happen, where it was gonna happen and all that. Um, now though, when I am filming, it's a day away, but it seems like it's just hours away because the forecast keeps just saying that it's gonna like get here sooner and sooner. And now we're like in crunch time because it's become a major hurricane. And it's come really close now to where we live, where before it was more north of us. And now it's almost directly on top of us. So we have just so many moving parts right now. So many things that we have to do because now it's a lot more serious than what it was. Luckily, we've been planning for a good couple days now, as you guys saw in those videos. So with that being said, Mike is at my neighbor's right now because um, she is like an elderly lady and they really needed help putting shutters up. So he's doing that and I am getting the horses situated. I just cleaned the stalls, added more shavings. I'm filling up all the water buckets because it was technically supposed to be here like tomorrow. But now they keep like saying that it's getting faster and it's gonna hit us a lot sooner. So they're thinking like 8 p.m. tonight and it's like close to 3 p.m. now. We went to Home Depot today earlier and got plywood and that was literally a madhouse so i wasn't able to bring you guys with us but we got some plywood it's not the best plywood um i showed you guys my shutters in my last video we have to roll those down still um which that's doesn't take any time we do that from inside the house but um that'll be like last but next we have to put up plywood so i'll take you guys along with that and then we're still trying to figure out the situation with the pigs because now it's become more of like a major hurricane and more of an extreme situation coming for us that I'm a little bit afraid to leave the pigs out. So we're gonna try to see if we can put them in a horse trailer. I don't know what's gonna go on with that, but I look like a mess right now. So bear with me, you guys. Make sure you go and give this video a big thumbs up because you guys are gonna come on this journey. We're gonna go through the storm and see what happens at the end of it and just pray that nothing bad or serious happens. So I am loading all the horses in the barn now. We did not let the chickens out. Um, because they need to just stay in. I need to bring them over their food. I need to fill up their water because they're going to be in their coop for like 24 hours. Our little Petrolina chicken kind of missed the bus on that, moving her over. So she's going to stay in the barn, which is honestly fine. We have so much to do, you guys. So <laughs> let's just keep on going. Okay, you two need to figure this out because I need Louie to go and you to stay in here because this is your stall. This is probably not going to happen the way that I want it to. So I might just... Release the beast on this one. Yep. Just go out that way for me, Cash. Go on. Louie, go to your stall. Come on, Lulu. Go to your fresh stall. Okay, go. No, 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 no. Okay, Louie's out. Okay. Doing stuff. Doing stuff without the help of Mike and so many moving big animals and a camera in one hand. It's not the easiest. Everyone, you can tell, feels like a little anxious and nervous right now i'm probably giving off some anxious nervous vibes though i will say <laughs> just because i am moving fast so i still need to get rid of all this trash gotta make sure i lock it don't want any animals getting loose hours before a hurricane i wish my barn was cleaner than this right now but this is what we got to work with so i'm filling up all their waters now like i said it's 3 p.m we'll have to come out later rain or shine and fill them up again. Now I just have to clean June's stall, finish cleaning this stall that they completely destroyed because there was way too many in here. So gotta do that one. Blazes is done. So technically I only have June's, which she doesn't have that much of a mess in here. I already switched out her shavings yesterday. So I just have to clean this one. I might add more to her stall because she's a pretty messy keeper. <laughs> she's not easy in her stall. So I might add more shavings to her stall. I have a bunch of lead robes ready with head stalls. So I've got one, two, three, four, five extra lead rope right here. I got to find a halter for Dinky because I want to put a halter on her just in case. My chicken feed is all filled up, ready to be brought over to the coop, which I'm going to do in just a minute. 
I want to try to get a halter onto Dinky to put a little tag on her. Everything. This is just like worst case scenario if we had to get them out of the barn. Dinky's got her head stalled. The only thing that bums me about it is going to touch her summer sore, which has been healing really nicely. But she's got a head stall on. Nice and good for her. So I'm going to attach a little ear tag to her head stall just in case. Hopefully it doesn't bother her too much, but that's what she just needs to do because if, like I said, something happens, I want my donkey to be found and, you know, be handled. So that's what we're working with. This is the livestock marker. Mmm, he's licking me. Mmm. Mini. I need to get my trash can so that they can't keep going in this. Oh, boy. I'm just trying to spend some time with them, too, because I'm sure everyone's feeling the weather changes and the drops and pressures and stuff, and they obviously know something's going on, so I just want to play with them, reassure them, spend time with them, of course. It's very stressful, though. I will not lie. Right, Bubba's? Cash has his tag on. I have a tag on Louie and his halter, just in case we need to grab him quickly. At least he'll have the halter on. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it on for how long, but Hurricane's not here just yet. But just in case you have to make any decisions before then, Trigger has his on. Closed down the back. All the horses are in now. They've all just eaten dinner. All the tags are on the horses. And I still have to feed them tomorrow morning before the hurricane, but that'll be pretty early unless the hurricane comes quicker. So I just have to put hay in everyone's stalls and now we're gonna close up the windows. I filled up this five gallon bucket for <laughs> Dinky and the goats to have obviously water because they're gonna be in the alleyway of the barn. Okay, that wasn't a nice place. I'm gonna move this away because I don't think it's fair that they need to get bit while trying to drink water. There you go. <laughs> so that'll be there for them. All the doors, windows I should say, are completely closed. Back one's closed that you guys saw. We're giving them a bunch of hay to keep them preoccupied because we're going to be getting a lot of rain. And we're almost done with everything. We have our ring set up so we can obviously check on them throughout the night. The barn is completely closed down. We are as ready as we can be. My babies are in there. Still kind of slightly working on trying to get loose stuff out of the pasture. So Mike is out there tearing out my pasture. I'm cringing, you guys. It's so bad, but don't want to swim to this thing because it's actually really heavy. But if um, 100 plus miles per hour winds are going to get it, I don't want it slamming right into my barn because it is pretty close to the barn. So we have to pick up the hay feeder and then the water troughs are just gonna stay. I just need to flip that one over so that it fills with water and it shouldn't go anywhere. Crazy. We're bringing over. They're gonna try to escape. Yeah, well, if they escape, they escape, but let's hope and pray that they don't. Hi everybody, sorry. You guys gotta stay in here. Have a good time. We're gonna fill your water up. Mike's making the trek up there. My video just got cut off because we got another emergency alert. But Mike's going in. Chickens are staying in. So now the chickens are completely ready for the storm. Fingers crossed. Luckily, it can't really tip because it literally is surrounded by like a cage of trees. If it tipped any way, it would be on this side, which that would be interesting. But let's just hope it doesn't do that. <laughs> I've been just getting poured on because of course it's raining the day that you have to prepare but we're almost done it feels like but it also feels like we have so much more to do so the cows are pretty simple we fed them and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them in the back pasture here soon um, we've kind of decided that for right now we're gonna just keep the pigs where they're at because we don't know how we would get them into the horse trailer or if it'd be too stressful so we're gonna feed them have their bellies full and then um, just hope for the best for them. So this pasture side of animals is pretty much almost done. Um, so that's good. I just have June, where are they? There they are, June and Blaze out there. Still letting them just graze because they were not on turnout today. Well, technically this is their turnout time. They weren't on turnout last night. So letting them have their turnout time because they're gonna be in their stalls tomorrow for a while. 
So the last things that I have to do with the barn are just get them situated and then we should be good. We are back home. We went to Publix to get more stuff, mostly like dried food and some pans and stuff just to have. When we went to Home Depot, we got these lights, which they're super bright. Woo, that's so bright. So we got those. We have four of these utility lights. Lexi's very intrigued. So we got that. So we have some more groceries in the car, but a lot of just like, you know, I'm gonna make a pot pie, so we'll have that at least. We have our three cases of water locked and loaded. Scout, she's trying to help. It's time that we start to roll down the shutters to make sure that they work. So this is the rod, and then Mike's on the outside just making sure they go down okay. So this one is done. I'll put up my blinds really quick so you can see. This is what it looks like from the inside. There it is. So this window's done. This is what the shutters look like from outside. So this is the front of the house. So it matches, which is cool, <laughs> but the shutters are down. We just put the one down in our spare bedroom. So this one's done. Can't believe this is happening. It's seven in the morning. Dogs don't even care what's happening, but we have to let them out before the hurricane really gets here. I set my alarm this morning to make sure it's crazy. It's really scary. Oh goodness. It's gonna be the last time you guys get to go. Go, Grandma. Go. Kitties, they were all in last night and now they all want to go out obviously because they have to go to the bathroom but Mishka, hi buddy, you want to come in? Come on buddy. Hi Mishka. He's soaked you guys. I'm going to try to grab him. So it's really hard out here but we have to feed for the last time. Oh my goodness. So everyone is safe and sound and dry so far. I need to fill all the waters up for the last time. The electricity, I'm surprised it's not even out yet. Everyone still has their info tags on. I can't clean stalls obviously, but it's all right. It'll be fine till later. But everything so far, they're nice and dry in here. Hay has been distributed and the winds are at 155, making it just shy of a hurricane category five. So the horses are in the barn because it is rated for up to 180 miles per hour winds. If anything were to happen, we will let them out of their stalls. This is how it looks so far at 7 a.m.
I'm in the barn. Came to check on everybody. No flooding, no water. Obviously the stalls are dirty because they've been in here peeing all day. But everybody is safe and sound in here. Goats, donkey, everybody's good. Pigs, they're all really confused obviously, but it's loud in here, but everyone is good. So we have lights on finally. Our generator's running so the AC's on. We are now taking the dogs out. We just took out Miley and Bama. We're taking them out on a leash. This storm is still going crazy. It's, let me look at my watch. Hold on one second. It's 9.35 and it's still not stopping. This is crazy, you guys. Let's do Lexi next, I guess. Now we drive her off. So the dogs have actually been really good through this all. Very calm. They're very crazy dogs in general. So very calm is good. They definitely sensed it. They're all super jacked up right now with hyperness because we just let them out. So they think it's time to play. We're still in a hurricane, guys. I think you forget. Where are you going, Scout? I know your timing's off because all the house is bored up and it's been dark all day. Came out to check on the cows. They're hunkered down over here by the barn. There's Al. Joe, so unfazed, just grazing. There's a pine back there. That one got pretty close to the barn. Thank God it didn't hit the barn. It's crazy. So I'll show you guys more tomorrow morning, but stock trailer fell off. And basically, I mean, it's not a huge deal, but it fell off this back into the barn, or sorry, the fence. We are going into the barn. We already turned on. I missed you guys. I was so scared for them. You guys are so cute. Sorry, we left you. We didn't really leave them. We were close by, but oh my gosh, I was in a panic. I was having a heart attack in there, you guys. I know you guys probably were too, but boy, I couldn't stop thinking about you guys. We turned the well on with our generator. Mike is, this has been the longest day ever, huh? And he's filling up the waters. These are the type of people that we are. We turned off our AC connected to our generator so we could turn on the water to get water flowing into here. Good babies, I'm so happy. Everyone's so good. In the tack room, no light, have my flashlight, but it's 11.30. I still wanna feed my horses, so they're all getting fed. We're over here checking out the cow pasture now. It's pretty wet. Checking out the pigs. Here's the metal from the pig barn. A lot of roofs still on the pig barn though, which is good. Everyone's doing good. It's a little uh, soupy in here, but nothing more than they can't handle. They love the mud, so feeding the pigs on this tray over here. Dry ground. Yay, time to eat. This is the water to my chicken coop. The pig pen is underwater. Mike, shine your flashlight. This is like the outside though of the big barn. Oh my gosh. This needs to be cleaned up majorly for these guys. But at least they have high ground underneath the pig barn is dry, so it's good. Just a little bit muddy parts, but that'll dry up the next day. This is gonna be where Operation Rebuild goes into effect over here. Here's the trees down by the pig pen. This one, oh my gosh, so close to taking down the chicken coop, but it just looks like it landed right next to it. 
huge tree though. This one's mostly in the pig pen. It's very flooded. We're gonna check on the chickens, hope that they don't get out. I don't think they took on much water. Everyone is good and happy in here. I'm so grateful they all went to higher ground, but the floor hardly has any water in it. It's only where like the openings are, so it looks good. They definitely ate some food though, because we filled this up all the way, so they ate a good amount. They still have water, so we are in good shape with the chickens. Tomorrow we will let them out, I think. Yeah, we'll let them out tomorrow. To continue their life. Honestly, no leaks or anything in here. It seems very dry, so I'm very happy about this. I'm about to feed the cows and my shoes keep getting stuck in the ground, but I gotta flip this over. Let's try. I'm moving it to higher ground. There we go, now we're talking. All right, so we got them at least on higher ground. Flipping it. Let's see. Oh, got it. The cows are eating. Feels so good to be able to feed them that everyone's safe after one of the biggest hurricanes ever. This tree broke our fence here. Crazy roots out of the ground. This was a really healthy pine tree. That whole fence. Jeez.